he learns by watching film mm -hmm. and he go out and he executes that. That's what I hope, you know, a, a guy like Russ will do. At the end of the games, I, he's so great, mm -hmm. but I think he gets in his mind that I could take over game and do it by myself, whereas these guys are just going to lock into you, and, and, and it's not going to happen that way. They, they pl he plays, that's the great thing about Mitchell. He plays in the flow of the game. Yeah. He's not forcing anything. And let me tell you something. When he put that move on Paul George, look, I had a vote America, and I was like, <laughs> man, if anybody I could email back uh, on, Tim man. Frank, any of these cats, that hey, man. That name needs to be on that truck. Oh, I'm not man. saying Ben Simmons isn't worthy, but I, I, the amount of pressure and the, what he has on his plate, come on, man. That's hard. Man, Stop Rachel, playing it's, with hard, this guy. it's hard to see something like that happen mm -hmm. and for me to turn around and say, but yeah, you didn't Ben's, move for him. I didn't, and I feel bad now. I feel really bad. And that's not because Ben Simmons, oh, it turned out you were a bum. Obviously, he's great. He's amazing. He's going to have some pretty big he's games amazing. in these playoffs, too. He's amazing. But there's something about Donovan Mitchell that beyond the basketball and beyond the, the anecdotes of him learning that makes you want to like him and root for him.